Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. I don't like being out here with that freaking background. What the guy's on, huh? You think of that? Yeah. Get I'm some there. goddamn backup Hang on. down here. I'm tapping into the city's right. power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out yeah. those lights. At least we know the guy's alone. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. <sighs> Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Shh. Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and I'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. We know what you did, you bastard. We'll get you. Come on out and play, you son of a bitch! Come out and show yourself, fuck me. What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Hey, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask.
I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? This Fisher guy's smart. Oh. They ran out the back entrance to the market, left us here with our thumbs up our asses. Not happening. Back's all blocked off. He's got to come through here. Hopefully before we die of old age. What the hell is he hiding anyway? Whoa. Fuck. Shit! Shit! Where'd that fucker go? Cover me, you here. assholes! He's got to be over there, man! Oh, oh, here so I, need some help. I need some help here! Fuck! Hurry! Let him have it! Take him down! You gotta kill him! Next. Let him have it! I'll do this. I'm out of here. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Okay, enough. You want to know, send me. It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. Runs drugs, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? <laughs> Don't! Please, stop! He <laughs> drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in, no matter what.
You're saying we're going there. Don't worry. Do what? Just a bomb. This. Just a bomb. Of course this place is dead. It's way too early. Yeah, it doesn't fill up. Inspiring confidence these days. Oh no, you mean smoked up and freaking out as you You said it. Can't say I blame him. What, because of the shipment? That's bullshit. We've handled like six of these already. You heard the client, they're very serious about this. Maybe they know that Kobe's slipping. All the way to the tower is no Thank God it's the last one. Let's take it out of here. gonna stay locked in here. Yeah, the guys are gonna make it through. Sad. When Coben's on his game, he's a smooth operator. I heard that, that that Russian gig went down sweet. Yeah, but this Fisher guy's got him spooked bad. <laughs> Better you than me. You gotta wonder what Coben did to flick him off. <laughs> I used to brag about it. Did a hit and run on the guy's daughter, got away clean, right before he showed up here. It fits his theory, didn't get away clean. Well, that's what I think he just figured out. Which would explain all the... Uh, so no fuck-ups, okay? <laughs> Courtyard. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? Like CIA or KGB guys or something. Uh, they're, they're part of the Russian gig. Coben cleaned them up. Coben cleaned up secret agents? Shit, now I'm in the back. I'm a little freak. Someone took out the chandelier! Buddy. Shit! Mr. Coben would love to- Whoa, man! <laughs> you ain't nothing, Fisher! Nothing! You're pathetic, Fisher! Come here! I'm no Gramcos! How are we doing? But ahead of schedule. Just don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any idea what's in the big box? Don't know, don't care. What the fuck is Russian? That's all I need. So this means we're using the usual pilot for this run? He does all the tough shipments. Yeah, Gobin trusts him. The Americans don't, that's why they're going for the high. Yeah, protecting their investment. All I'm saying is I wouldn't. <laughs> 
Fuck, man. Yeah, I know. You got that loaded? said you were some kind of badass! I've got nothing. wants to see you dead, Fisher! Fisher, I'll find you. Where the hell is he? 
What if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him! What kind of fucking stupid question is that? Get this straight. Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I said shut up! Easy there, boss. You told me to take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now! <laughs> Hi, 
Chaser, you fucking coward! This is my house, you hear me? My house! Why don't you just goddamn die? You're not getting me! You got nothing, you hear me? Nothing! Die, you bastard! Die! You're not bulletproof, are you? I'm gonna blow your brains out! Hold still and die! <laughs> Andre Colbin, were you saying something about my daughter? Oh, God, no. Yeah, I was just messing with you, man. Look, I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop it down! Sam, you need to go with them. The hell I do. Please. You have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the That's air! It, Fisher. Nice and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup... So no, no, no. I'll be happy when we drop off Sleeping Beauty. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see, extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan. Tell you what, Oscar. Take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up at Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place apart with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel is at three, man. Colonel Prentice. Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to third echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. 
Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coven. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just get to it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand in hand with our hosts here. A PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta, and Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere, and the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly, but what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? Dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Okay. I... Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car's just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will. Love their sneaky ass plans, but they're never around to clean up the mess when things go wrong. 
You don't see that skinny prick Reed around here anywhere, do you? Shit. If it were up to me, I'd go put a bullet in him right now. And I oh shit! Grim, I've got the package. Good. Now here's the plan. They may not be able to track my car by GPS, but they've got a chopper on site that means they don't need to. They'll just blow me off the road. We're far enough out into the sticks that no one will notice. You need to disable that chopper, or you're not going anywhere. Roger that. That would be better to hold off on the detonation. Grim, I've taken care of the chopper. Now I need to take down the field's electrical grid. Good call. Black Arrow jury rigged the hell out of the original system when they converted the airfield from civilian use. So it's vulnerable. The power relays are probably the weakest point. Where do I find them? One of the barracks had one put in, exposed inside the building. And that's my best bet. Now before I get really pissed off. I swear. Shit. 
Nice job. Now, my car is parked just outside the gate off the main lot, but as things stand, you won't get far. What haven't you told me? There's a satellite dish on site with an uplink to a private spy bird. Use some C4 to take it out. I thought your car was clean. It is. But if they get a visual lock on you from the sat, it won't matter. Why don't you go see if we there's anything else you forgot to mention? Oh, 
Grim, the dish is taken care of. Then let's get you out of here. My car is outside. The attention, door. attention, all, the pursuit, all personnel. There is an escaped the prisoner is inside the compound. He is to be considered armed and dangerous. Well Report to your security you position you immediately. You were clear to use deadly force. is taken care of. Then let's get you out of here. My car is outside the gate. All the pursuit vehicles are inside. This isn't an accident. Fry their security system, and they're not going to... Attention, anywhere. attention, oh. all personnel. There is an escaped prisoner inside the compound. He is to be considered armed and dangerous. Report to your security position immediately. You are clear to use... Sam, bad news. 
Sarah's fine, but I have to push back the call I promised you. Stop playing games and don't call me again unless you've got my daughter on the line. Victor Cost speaking. Vic, it's Sam. I'm in town and could use a little help. <sighs> if you're asking for help, we better do this face to face. And what the hell's going on back there? I thought you'd recognize the sound. Remind you of anything? Yeah. I'm right. Yo, Sam, how's your little girl? She's doing fine. I got a picture from her in the mail. I think her mom helped her draw. Nice. My kids don't draw me pictures or write or anything. They don't write because you can't read, man. <laughs> Lock it up. But when I get out of here... Hey, you're going to kindergarten. You know, I hear they got entrance exams at kindergarten now, Sam. I don't know if Vic's going to make it in. <laughs> Sam trusted me, because of what we'd been through together in the Gulf. That's why he called me after Third Echelon did their little number on him. He needed someone to watch his back. I was the only one who could. Showing 